Dubai and Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. These are gleaming modern cities, home to the tallest building in the world and maybe the most beautiful building in the world, all located in one of the most barren deserts you can imagine. In this video, I've got 10 things I love about Dubai and the United Arab Emirates. And I've also got three things that I don't really care for. First thing I love about Dubai and Abu Dhabi is the skyline. The skyline in Dubai is just legendary. You see it and you're kind of taken back by it. The buildings are all modern. None of this existed 30 years ago. And so you get this view of these brand spanking new skyscrapers with the Burj Khalifa in the backdrop of it all. It's amazing to see this. And uh, if you love skyscrapers like I do, you're going to love Dubai. Now, Abu Dhabi has a little corner of town that's kind of neat to see as well with the Idiot Towers. And so check out the skyline. It's something you'll absolutely love about Dubai. The next thing I love about this place is free parking. It is amazing to have free parking for once in all the big cities of the world. That's something you don't come across too often. But there are free parking garages anywhere you go, even the Dubai Mall, which is perhaps one of the biggest and most prestigious malls in the world. You're going to have free parking. Just remember where you are at. I can't find my car. How embarrassing. It's uh, literally been 15 minutes. I went to the wrong parking garage. Luxury for less. That's another reason to love Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Depending upon the time of year you're there, you can oftentimes get a five-star hotel for very cheap comparatively. I stayed in the Conrad Hilton in Dubai, and I also stayed in a very beautiful Marriott Hotel in Abu Dhabi. Now, both of these places, I've stayed in nice resorts before, but they're typically above the class that I usually stay in. But in Abu Dhabi and Dubai... Oftentimes, you can get a beautiful hotel room for rather cheap. And so the luxury in this town is over the top. There is bling and luxury everywhere you look. The shopping is over the top amazing. I'm probably willing to say that that Dubai mall might be the most amazing and prestigious mall in the world. It has everything from the super high-end stores like Louis Vuitton and Prada to even some of the lower-end stuff. There's an IHOP in that mall. And so you get everything and you'll get lost in that mall. It's huge. But walk outside and you check out the promenade there with the fountains and it's, it's amazing. One interesting thing when you're visiting the UAE is you find they have portraits and displays of their leaders. These are their government officials that they have, and they put up all over. You see them in shops, you see them on billboards and on displays all throughout the country. I think this is kind of cool. It's a nice touch. We certainly don't have that in America. Our government officials are not looked up to in the same way, but it is kind of neat that they have these images of their leaders on display, and there's a lot of national pride, which is neat to see for a country that has only been around for 40 some odd years. Driving in this country is a pleasure. The roads are brand new. They are well-groomed. The speed limit is like 140 kilometers an hour. That's pretty fast. And so you can drive in this country no problem. This is a very easy place. It's, not, it's driving on the right side of the road, and you're going to find that it's a fun place to rent a nice car and drive to your heart's content. Now, that being said, I've driven between Dubai and Abu Dhabi. I don't know much about driving way... I mean, this is a desert country. I don't know about driving into the interior, what you're going to find, what you're not going to find. But as far as the main roads... They're uh, well-crafted, well-engineered. They are paved very nicely. Not a lot of potholes. And the, there's a lot of clarity in the directions and the signage. And so as long as you've got your 
smartphone, you're going to be fine getting around in this place. It's a pleasure to drive in the UAE. Another thing I love about the UAE and Dubai and Abu Dhabi is you're going to find that these are extremely diverse cities. In fact, in the UAE, only about 10 to 15 percent of the population is you know, born in the country. Everyone else is an expatriate or an immigrant here. It's a very friendly country to immigration and to working here. And so you find, I, I spoke to people in just a few days I was here that were from Pakistan, from Thailand, a lot of people from the Philippines. And you have this wide diversity in this ethnicity from all over. There's a few Europeans here as well. You appreciate diversity when you see it like this, that there is a a certain element of cohesiveness and, to, and togetherness that uh, maybe just a natural friendliness that you don't find in other places. People are very friendly here because nobody's really from here. Here's another thing I love. These elevators that I found down in Abu Dhabi in the Itihad complex uh, are just amazing. They're made of amethyst. At least that's what I think they're made of. And I got a picture last time I was here I was just blown away by how beautiful these elevators were with this, this stone, this amethyst, and decorated like something else I've never seen. Once again, this is a luxurious place, and uh, you don't usually find elevators that are made of amethyst. Okay, remember Las Vegas? They have the Bellagio fountains there that opened up in the late 90s. And guess what? In Dubai, they've done even better than that. They've won up Las Vegas because the fountains at the Burj Khalifa are even bigger, even better, and even more choreographed than the fountains at the Bellagio. In fact, uh, I was mesmerized. They had Skyfall playing when I was there. And the, the, they dance, they shoot up a couple hundred feet, and it's all choreographed to this light show on the Burj Khalifa itself. You can't capture it all in one frame. You've got to kind of look around. The light show is amazing. I was there during Ramadan, and so it was just packed. Everybody during Ramadan is fasting, and then they come out once the sun goes down, and it was just wall-to-wall -wall people to look at these fountains. But if you're in Dubai, you don't want to miss the fountains. They are beautiful. <laughs> Okay, everybody knows that the Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in the world, and it's been that way since 2010. However, what many people don't know is perhaps the most beautiful building in the world, at least that I've ever had the opportunity to visit, is in Abu Dhabi. The Sheikh Zayed Mosque is unreal. It's made of this beautiful white stone, and inside you have mother of pearl everywhere. It is mind-blowing how beautiful this place is. I don't know how much money or time was spent on this, but compared to even many of the other beautiful mosques I've been to, like the Blue Mosque in Istanbul and even the Taj Mahal, I think this is more beautiful than the Taj Mahal, and I'm not kidding. Okay, let me tell you the few things I don't like about Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and the United Arab Emirates. First of all, I'm just going to get this right out of the way. The aquarium. I was excited to go to the aquarium. I'd heard a few things about it. I didn't do a whole lot of research. Don't go to the aquarium. It's at the Dubai Mall. So you're going to pass by there because it's right there at the Burj Khalifa. The aquarium is way overblown. It costs 200 dirhams to get in, which is the equivalent of over $50. And what you get for that is you get to walk through a fancy tunnel that's really amazing, and it takes about two minutes to walk through that. And then you get to go up to a second-rate outdoor zoo or water zoo. Listen, the whole thing was just way overblown. I was wondering why I was the only one in line, and now I know the word's out. Don't go to the aquarium. Don't waste your money. Yes, that tunnel is really something cool to see. But there are other cool things to see. In fact, quite frankly, even the Burj Khalifa is just grossly overpriced. That's another thing on my list that I just don't love is I, the, I love the Burj Khalifa. It's a beautiful, amazing skyscraper. It's not my favorite in the world, 
but it is uh, an engineering marvel to be sure. But one thing about the Burj is that it's a little bit the same problem with the Empire State Building in New York City. Once you go to the top, if you're in the Empire State Building, that's the iconic landmark. And so you get a view of everything else, right? And so if you're in the top of the Burj, you're not going to have that in any of your pictures. So it's kind of nice to find another place where you can have the Burj Khalifa in the background. So that's a problem you have and why I'm not too hot on the Burj Khalifa. What don't I like about Dubai and Abu Dhabi? Well, it's kind of mixed in with what I do like about it. Yes, you get the new, but with that, you get the construction. Yes, this is a place with luxury and with money, but it's also located in a barren, hot, miserable desert that I would never choose to live in. This place owes itself to air conditioning because nobody could ever live in this place without air conditioning. And so what do you love about Abu Dhabi, Dubai, and the UAE? It kind of fits into just who it is and why you might not like it.